welcome back. Uh, here with a friend of mine now, Darren Wall, uh, currently manager of the Chipley plant for Gulf Power. Um, Darren, we're here at uh, PAEC for the second annual Goodwill Job Fair. A great opportunity to match people looking for jobs with prospective employers. Uh, your team from Gulf Power has been here all afternoon, still another couple hours to go. It's very important many times to have these open cattle calls, if you will, as far as the job fair, because you may not have those people walk into Gulf Power. They may be intimidated. I would imagine there's some value to these sort of fairs for you as an employer. Well, it is because this sets the platform and the uh, venue for those really uh, looking for positions uh, within the community or just looking for a job and they're willing maybe to relocate at times. But it gives you that opportunity to answer some questions, provide some feedback, uh, maybe provide some additional information about your company, which we're able to do, uh, talk a little bit more about job opportunities either now or what may be on the horizon and just also work with our community partners and neighbors here in Chipley uh, and the surrounding communities to uh, again enhance our workforce because you never know where that diamond in the rough is but for the most part it's conveying the information about who we are and seeing if this is something that a potential candidate would be willing to pursue. You know and you open up an interesting uh, course of discussion you talk about somebody maybe willing to locate Gulf Power having a plethora of locations and maybe matching up somebody who says, well, I'm not from here, and you go, ah, but we are looking for somebody in that market. And that's true. One of the things is, for example, uh, if you have someone living in the south end of the county or, or a neighboring county, they may be able to work in one of our locations such as Southport, Panama City, Sneeds, Chipley, um, Defuniac Springs. They may be, will be within driving distance of a number of places. Um, and, you know, and also... <laughs> I know that typically the folks that we're seeing here today are looking for a job now, but if they're not able to find one now, if they're able to go to our website and at least upload a resume, a cover letter, build a profile, there may be something open up in a month, two months, six months down the road that may be a better fit for them. Also, you know, we're part of the Southern Company family. This also opens up opportunities at Georgia Power, Alabama Power, Mississippi Power, Southern Nuclear, Southern Generation, and several other others. So they don't necessarily have to uh, apply or, or put a resume in just for Gulf Power. They could look throughout the southeast. And if they wanted to go to that website, what is the name of that website? Southerncompany.com. Okay. Find out. And is there a particular area, human resources? or? Uh... Um, if they go to gulfpower.com, go to the tab that says About Us, scroll down till you see Careers, and I think on the Southern Company website, it clearly says Careers and a little, a little bit, uh, I think, one step shorter to get there. Well, thanks for being here today. Uh, for, thanks for being a community partner. Gulf Power, a very large community partner all the time. Thank you. Uh, but certainly in a, in a situation like this, adding um, almost a, a, another element to the, those businesses represented in the room. Well, and, and there are a variety of folks here. You know, we have small companies to large companies. Uh, of course, the tech centers here. And you have a variety of folks. You have local businesses. And, um, and, and so it's a nice little mix here, a diverse set of uh, companies represented it because we do have a diverse set of work uh, um, uh, candidates out in the workplace right now, or at least those wanting to enter the workplace. So I think we have enough here for folks to look at. Well, um, and again, thanks for being that community partner. How are things at Gulf Power right now? Right now we're pretty steady as the economy has somewhat had a slight uptick. We're hearing that across the board in various segments. Uh, it's been steady for us. Uh, those that years ago decided not to retire due to the economy or that downturn in the economy, we're beginning to see a few more of those that are electing to go ahead and retire now. And that's one thing I've been telling some candidates that, you know, we may start seeing some openings take place because of that. Um, it, it remains to be seen exactly how all this will shake out, but it, it's going to be slow and gradual. I think we've all heard that message uh, in various segments as far as uh, the uptick in the economy. It's, it's going to be a slow, gradual thing. And as that happens, you know, really that reflects on how we, um, how it affects us because we're seeing that slow uptick as well. And it seems to kind of have this, it mirrors what's going on in the employment areas, you know, with us. So, sure. Well, again, thanks for taking the time to carve out from your busy afternoon to speak with us. As always, it's a pleasure getting your insight.
insight into the, the business world. Uh, we look forward to having you as a regular guest on the show soon. Uh, talk a little bit more in depth about Gulf Power. Well, I'll be glad to. Thanks, Paul. Good to see you today. Thanks. Here with Darren Wall, local manager for Gulf Power in Chipley, Florida, uh, here at the second annual uh, Goodwill Job Fair here at the PAEC campus right across the street from Washington Homes Technical Center, enjoying a very large crowd as we did last year, getting an opportunity to talk to some of the employers and some of those potential employees um, and getting the perspective uh, from each side. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and we will be right back.